guys got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at something I should have did a while ago, at least in terms of the mold. Uh, but this is, this specific figure is um, Bacon 2012 Shattered Glass Optimus Prime based off of the um, Reve Reveal the Shield, sorry, Reveal the Shield um, Laser Prime, G2 Laser Prime. Um, first off, excuse my voice if I sound different. Uh, I'm just coming off of a cold. I actually sound better right now than I did this morning, so hopefully it sounds okay. But uh, like I said, this guy's based off the uh, Reveal the Shield Laser Prime mold. Uh, Laser Prime was a version of G2 Optimus Prime, uh, who had a, he was a long nose truck instead of a flat nose truck. I believe there was two G2 Optimus Primes. One was just a G1 Optimus Prime with a black trailer that said Optimus Prime on the side. It was really goofy and stupid. But then there was another one called Laser Prime, um, which had a more of a tanker truck and um, this style of body. Uh, and that's basically what this is just an updated version of that. And this is a re you know this is a repaint of the of you know the red and blue normal one. So we'll take a look at him real quick. Um, he does roll fairly well when you get everything lined up. Um, he is kind of, you can just bend him in half. He doesn't lock in too well, so getting him to roll sometimes can be a pain in the butt. But um, he is the Shattered Glass kind of nemesis colors. He has uh, purple instead of red and this really cool, like, black washed. All the parts that are black that should be blue on regular Prime are this black wash, which is hopefully coming off over on camera. Well, um, it really shows off in robot mode too in the legs, which is basically what these parts are. You can see all this. This is all. It's all painted, but it's like all black wash. It's really, it's a really cool effect. Uh, it's got lightning bolts on the sides. It's got this Autobot, you know, shattered glass Autobot symbol, all messed up. Crack in the windshield. The windshield is actually this. It's got like metallic flake. Pull it away a little bit so I can hopefully focus a little bit better. There we go. You can see it's all metallic flake gold in there, which is really cool. The doors are just like metallic gold painted. Those are straight painted, but this actually these are clear with this really cool fleck metallic flake. Um, you know, embedded in the plastic, which is really cool. Um, drawn in crack, uh, green lights. Autobot, uh, Rob Symbol is Autobot because he's Shadow Glass Autobot. Green headlights, try to zoom out. So, overall, the paint on this guy is absolutely incredible. It's just really, really, really cool. Especially this black wash, it, it is really nice, and the, the, uh, the paint actually all in person looks, you know, much, much better. Much, you know, not much better, but, you know, it looks, really looks nice. Whoops. I guess it was this side first, yeah. On the side, he's got some, some writing. I shall stand. The rest shall fall. Pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to trans transform this guy real quick. I'm into robot mode. The first thing you want to do is come back here and split the sides. And then pop this out. This becomes his sword. So this is the trailer hitch, right here, and you actually just fold this bit out, and there's a track, see it's, there's a, uh, basically a hole, a track, right here, and you just lift this up and ride this on the track until it gets to the end, kind of force it in like that, and there's a sword, it's uh, the same clear metallic flake as the, uh, the windshield that I showed you. The exact same sword as the um, the regular laser prime came with, but it's it's painted in that clear plastic with the uh, metallic flake, which makes it really cool. Put that off to the side. Okay, it's a little bit finicky, not crazy, but what you want to do next is the, these panels over the wheels. I want to just fold those down. There's four panels, two on each side. Basically, I haven't transformed this guy since I got him. Last year, I never, I don't remember him being so stiff. It's incredibly stiff. But next, what you want to do, so you might hear a lot of creaking. Um, these wheels, you want to rotate around 
So they're normal like that, you want to bring them up. And then there's a peg in there. And you have to find the catching point of the peg to push them in. There we go. So we want to push them in. And this is hard to do. And that one went right in. They don't really lock in, they cut they do stay. But they don't like peg peg in. That one went good. Yeah, well they couldn't all go good. Alright. I say two and a half went good. One one and a half for a pain. Um you're gonna flip this bit out and then fold this down, it becomes the foot, and that becomes the heel. Same thing on this side. You can see when you fold the foot down that that bit right there becomes the heel. And then we have Gerwalk Prime. Yeah. Let's get the camera up a little bit. So next we want to um, take this part right here, which are the I don't know, gas cans or the cowlings or something for the wheel wells. And you want to lift them up against the body flat and then fold them in. And there's um, key tabs on either side. So you want to peg those together and lock them together. Which I don't want to force because they're very delicate. Well, not very delicate tabs, but oh, that's why. <laughs> very clicky. Okay, so next we're going to come up here. That also exposes the hands. So next we're going to come here and there's a peg. See that peg folds underneath that. Uh, this part of the cab and that it's attached to the door so you want to separate that again kind of wiggle it free split the front in half and just wiggle it out of the way next we're going to come under here and the head is under there see, see, see the little head in there so what you want to do is push up on the head and that pulls the head up now you have to rotate the head again. See there's like a cutout right there. So like you want to just go like this and just grab it by the head and just rotate it. But this neck post is actually very thin and it broke a lot of people's laser primes. So what you really want to do is grab it by this part and then rotate that and kind of support the head and the neck and you'll be okay. Next you want to Push the windows in. Again, be careful. You can hear mine creaking because it's so stiff. But you want to push these flat up against the glass. Like that, so you can see straight through. You can now fold the head down. The head doesn't really peg on, but it just it kind of sits there. It doesn't go anywhere. Now you want to pull this forward and then push it down and make sure it's flat and then just with these car doors you can just fold them which way is forward that way is forward and you just fold them down like that and make sure the fists are forward so hold on the elbows there so yeah just fold them flat back like that and there we have G2, G2, I guess, well, not really G2. Shattered Glass G2 Optimus Prime in his robot mode. So we're gonna just take his sword, and stick it in his hand. Which way does it go? This way. And there we go. So let's take a look. His face is pretty cool. Got those red evil eyes, uh, gold light piping. That's it's weird because the light piping is gold, but his eyes are red. Kind of, There's, the light piping kind of sucks. So let's not worry about the light piping. But the face is pretty cool. He is very poseable. Um, shoulders are on a ball joint, aren't they? Not a bow joint, just a rotation joint, a universal joint, basically. But the bulkiness of the shoulders does get in the way. Like that's as far as you can bend them in. And that's as far as you can bend them out. 
but the the uh, shoulder bit here is a separate joint and that can go in and out a little bit also hindered because of the giant shoulders uh, rotates at the thigh at the thigh that's a thigh uh, upper bicep bends at the elbow ball at the wrist ball joint at the wrist um, there is rotation at the waist with very little um, also because of this this backpack just there's nowhere for it to go um, the legs are kind of thin and spindly but they do um, ball joints at the hip with the cut for the upper thigh all the way up here like that's where it rotates all the way up at the top um, it can't go out very far because there's no cut at the top of the ball so that's as far as wide as it goes bends that far at the knee nothing forward because he's got a kneecap um, feet are on balls on balls with this ro this rotation joint for transformation so you got really good range of motion in the feet and the heels also for transformation also bend good range of motion get pretty good poses um, right now on my shelf I basically just display him with his sword crossed across sword crossed enunciate mark sword crossed across his chest just like that um, he does have a lot of this metallic paint it does really look cool it's it's I wish you guys could just like see it in person I wish you could like see through my eyes and not just not through the camera because the camera doesn't pick up just how nice the metallic paint really is in person um, again this is a botcon figure so it was more expensive and the paint is more expensive because of it and it's just a higher quality figure overall um, if you don't have this guy if you could track him down for a fair price you know go for it he is totally worth it um, I don't know what he's going for in the aftermarket right now I would guess somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred or so um, it's a little steep especially since it's, it's shattered glass and most people don't like shattered glass but I think he's cool I really do like the color scheme um, he also does have a sword, the, the Prime Sword. Remember the one I showed you with the Matrix in it? That goes with his color scheme. It's purple and gold. It's a purple handle with a gold, uh, metallic gold uh, blade. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do have it. I just don't know where it is right now because everything's in storage. So I can't show that off right now. But uh, hopefully I can dig that out one day and show you. Now he doesn't want to stand probably. I'll try to flatten his feet out a little bit. Oh, that's why these I told you these joints are tight, tight, tight on this guy. So yeah, uh, I would like to say go out to the store and buy it, but you can't. <laughs> you have to find this guy secondhand now. Um, grab him if you can. He is very cool. He is very evil looking. I do really like that. Um, so yeah, this has been yeah kind of an abrupt ending, but yeah, what are you gonna do? This has been a video review for BotCon 2012 Shattered Glass G2 Laser Optimus Prime.